Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Blanco the Slime, and in today's video, we have something very exciting to cover, in my opinion, and of course, that is the Grady Itali GTO. Being a free car slash claimable vehicle this week in Grand Theft Auto Online, and I highly, highly suggest that if you have a salvage yard, you guys go and take the time to get this vehicle with the gang, you know, the gang robbery with the salvage yard. It's one of the easier robberies in the game, and in this video, I will kind of give a little walkthrough of the finale of it i won't really do the setup missions and stuff like that because they should be very self-explanatory but all in all man you definitely want to take the time to go and get this free car well it's not really free it costs twenty thousand dollars ten thousand if you have a document forgery office but that's basically free man and it is one of the best cars in the entire game in my opinion and definitely the best vehicle that they have given to us as a claimable vehicle through the salvage yard so again i will be going through how to get this vehicle in today's video and then a little bit of a showcase at the end and stuff like that a little bit of a test drive but before we get into today's video i need you guys to take one second of your time to hit that like and subscribe button of course if you are new here welcome to the channel if you have have been down with the channel already then welcome back and let's get into the video ladies and gentlemen now moving downstairs to our laptop where we can see all of our vehicles you will see the claimable vehicle will have like a red garage icon on it and of course that is going to be on the Grady Italia GTO now it will cost twenty thousand dollars to start up this robbery plus twenty thousand dollars to claim it so make sure you have forty thousand dollars that's pretty simple enough right it's pretty cheap but anyway, these are going to be your missions. You're going to need to steal the police maverick. You are going to need to steal the tactical gear. And you will need to do like the three little like side quest missions. So in total, you're looking at five missions in order to access the finale to this robbery. So let's just skip ahead to the finale. Like I said, the, you know, the side quests and the setup missions are pretty self-explanatory. So we're just going to go ahead and skip to the finale. Now I do have this video clip like slightly sped up just so we could get through it quicker. But I know some people do get a little confused with this, you know, jail breakout. They don't really know where to find the keys. They don't really know where to access, you know, the jail cell where we have to free King Tiny. So he can give us the location of the beautiful Grady Itali GTO. So basically you're gonna infiltrate this police precinct with a stun gun, cause of course it's non-lethals. We're not trying to kill any cops over a car, right? Like at least GTA got that part like realistic because in real life you're not going to kill a cop over a car but anyway here are the keys they're going to be like in this office most of the time sometimes they spawn at a different location in the precinct but nine times out of ten they're in that little office and then you just want to look for these stairs man these stairs will bring you right downstairs to the cell holding area which which is where king tiny will be and you just got to take out a couple of these guards like i said man very self-explanatory the one cool thing with the salvage yard is they didn't really make these robberies like crazy hard they can be a little annoying sometimes like personally i hate the submarine robbery and the one that's on the cargo ship so i'm very happy that the grady itali gto claimable vehicle was under this robbery which is the gang member robbery personally i think it's one of the easier ones one of the simpler ones but anyway once we get king tiny out of the cell you're gonna take these last two guys out that come through the back door he just whacked me with his gun but anyway you're gonna have your weapon stash under the garbage which you know we did that during one of the side quests of course i can show that in the video but quick little tip here you can call in your personal vehicle when you are leaving with king tiny so you don't have to use the getaway car that you stashed as you can see i called in my sparrow but unfortunately for us it did spawn in on top of the bridge so i had to down a couple of these cops take one of their cars and then you're going to see me loop around to the bridge and get to my sparrow it just makes doing a mission like so much easier to be honest you can get away from the cops so much faster i definitely suggest calling in your own personal vehicle when doing this this robbery and that goes with all the salvage yard robberies the one cool thing with them is you can actually call in your personal vehicle in most of the missions so here we go we're on our sparrow and we're getting away from the cops so really quick while we are evading the cops i did want to make a point about the salvage yard I did say that this business wasn't that good in my last like business tier list video, but lately they have been rolling out the claimable cars a little bit more consistently. It went from like once a month to like once every two or three weeks. So honestly, if we're getting a car that's worth two around $2 million every two weeks through the salvage yard for practically free, especially if it's going to be cars like the Grady Itali GTO, like genuinely good cars, you know, the salvage yard might actually still be a pretty decent business. And now we are getting 
beginning a new business on Tuesday with the DLC. So we're going to see how that one, you know, works and plays out in the tier list. But I think overall, the salvage yard actually ended up being a pretty good business. I personally enjoy it. I don't do the tow jobs too much. Um, I pretty much only come here when a claimable vehicle is available. But like I said, they have been given the claimable vehicles a little bit more consistently which is always good news that's always good news but you don't want to buy the document forgery office because although it gives you a ten thousand dollar discount the cheapest document forgery office is six hundred thousand dollars meaning you'd have to steal you'd have to claim 60 cars just to make your money back on what you paid for and we're not going to claim 60 cars by then grand theft auto 6 is going to be out but anyway enough of my ranting we are here at the garage. He gave us the location since we got him to his helicopter safely. He gives you the location to the car. You're just gonna head over there, clear out a couple more guys, grab the car and bring it back to the salvage yard. Like I said, man, these robberies are very, very simple very you know self-explanatory they really don't need any type of big guide or anything like that if you do need one i guess you can comment down below and i'll kind of give a guide on the salvage yard robberies but i really don't think that it's necessary i think we can kind of just like skip through and stuff like that like i said this video isn't a guide step by step on how to get the car it's just more so giving you the information and just a little bit of gameplay in the background while i'm talking and bullshitting <laughs> to be honest with you but uh yeah the car looks great it has the ls panic plate on it it's kind of like the los angeles lakers colors so that's pretty cool if you're a lakers fan you know you get the purple and yellow on the back and there you have it man the car is ours i completed two of the missions so i made at least twenty thousand dollars back and that pretty much pays for the car man you complete two of those little quests out of the four and that pays for the car so there we have our first visual of the car like like i said you can see that ls panic plate on the back it looks really really good i like the gray and orange coloring honestly to be honest i was thinking about like not even changing it but i did end up you know customizing it and changing it which i'm not really going to show in this video but i ended up going with like a red and black you know typical ferrari colors but the car looks amazing man and like i said it's pretty much free it's a claimable vehicle that only costs twenty thousand dollars i would definitely suggest getting it man take the time it only takes 30 to 40 minutes to complete all the side missions plus the finale and like i said man it's one of the best cars in the game personally one of my top five favorite cars to drive and i believe it is the best sports car in the sports category for like circuit timing so if you're looking to win some races in the sports category this is your car man you definitely definitely want to go ahead and grab this car it will win you a ton of races a ton of races man also a quick side note the safe is double money in the salvage yard this week so make sure you're getting those tow jobs done and keeping your safe income you know flowing because it is double money so you will make forty eight thousand dollars every 48 minutes with the safe in your salvage yard this week which is a nice little addition on top of the fact that they gave us a really good claimable vehicle so like i said man i'm not exaggerating definitely go ahead and grab that car man it's a really good car top five in the game in my opinion all right so we're gonna take this thing for a little test drive get a nice little visual of it on the road get get a look at that plate from the back while it's in motion get that get a look from the back anyway car drives great man of course this is not upgraded i haven't visited uh los santos customs yet but it's even faster obviously this is without you know the transmission upgrade the turbo upgrade the engine upgrade all that stuff handling is very good it sticks very well honestly it's just a really solid car man and if you don't take 30 to 40 minutes out of your time to go and get this car for practically free then you're insane man we have a ton of cars on sale this week i just covered that in my previous video if you want to go check that out I do those every single week where I go over the best things to buy and invest your time in. And this is definitely something you want to invest your time in. But another thing to consider is, you know, it's always nice to get new cars in Grand Theft Auto and collect new cars. But a new DLC is coming and they did put a bunch of really good cars on sale this week. And it's kind of to bait you into spending your money. So you have to buy shark cards when the DLC comes out. So getting the Grady Itali GTO for practically free when the DLC is coming on Tuesday with a new business and a ton of new cars, it's pretty dope that Rockstar did that because it allows us to add a new car to our collection. It's a really good car at that, an excellent car. Looks really good. 
has a rare plate on it and the LS Panic plate. Like, that's all dope, you know? We could pretty much get it for free with the DLC coming soon. So if you are looking to add a new car without really spending too much money, knowing that the DLC is coming soon, then this is probably your best bet to go ahead and nab this car for practically free through your salvage yard. But anyway, that pretty much does wrap us up for today's video. Again, take one second out of your time. If you've already made it here to the end, I'm assuming you like the video and that you like what you're seeing. So definitely hit that like and subscribe button definitely hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and also don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can stay up to date with all my posts i do post consistent gta content here on the channel so you definitely don't want to miss the post and again if you are new welcome if you've been down welcome back and until the next video peace out boys